well. So I might just repeat an introduction. Everybody's okay with the recording? Any naysayers? I sayers? Yeah. Thumbs ahead. uppers, thumbs downers. Okay. Go ahead. It's fine. <laughs> okay. We got COVID hair. Yeah, yeah. So lockdown here, lockdown here, not COVID. Lockdown. Yeah. Jamie's so, coming soon. Okay, Jamie here. That's Jamie. what I used to look like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, this is I'm Vance Stevens in Penang, Malaysia, and I'm sort of the founder, I suppose, because it's my idea of EVO Minecraft book, but certainly not the most dominant. Uh, uh, coordinator or participant for that matter. But um, we have here Rose Bard. Rose is uh, one of the coordinators as well. She's in Brazil. Um, you could say more about yourself if you wanted, Rose. No? I'm just really excited for this year's edition as we have been involved through the years, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been always nice. And I'm really a firm believer that Minecraft uh, is going to expand from this year on due to the pandemic issues. This is something I got from the Minecraft Microsoft mentoring from uh, Minecraft mentors. Um, also, they are trying to support teachers around the world, you know, with the possibility of using Minecraft. So, yeah, These, this at is this going time. to be a very interesting year for Minecraft to educators. <laughs> yeah, this time in particular. Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's see. And we have also over here, who else do we have? So Bobby Bear. Bobby Bear, she's here. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So, um, so Bobby, you're a, a moderator for how long? A few years, actually, but um, I wasn't very much involved for a couple of years. That my computer didn't work um, with Minecraft very well. So I've got a new computer, and I'm enjoying it now. OK. Uh, I'm letting people in the waiting room. Uh, Looks like uh, uh, Jamie Harrison has arrived and Claire has arrived. Claire is uh, somehow associated with Mark over there. They have the same last name. You want to say hi? Hello. We haven't really officially started yet. So we're sort of in pre-show. We got, according to my clock, we've got two minutes before we get going. Anybody want to say hi and who you are? And Big smiles. Jane, mm -hmm. Jane uh, didn't have the password for Zoom, but I think I gave it to her. So. Oh no no no! It might be. I think it's generated. She has to. She has to sign on. For Zoom. Oh. Yeah, she has to sign on. Fill in the registration form because. Uh -huh. um, yeah. So it, it, I, that might mess things up. So the, it's not. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, you have to have your own registration. So just go fill in the form and you get the email right away. And Vance, you are so bureaucratic, I must say. <laughs> it's a, it's actually a safety measure. It, I think it prevents I I Zoom bars. I realize yeah. that. Mm -hmm. I realize yeah. that. Hi, Katharina. How are you? Welcome. Hi, everyone. Uh, good to be here. Thank you very much for the welcome. Sure. Okay. Katharina. Well, Barbara, um, Barbara Stevens. Yeah, yes. That's me, Bobby. <laughs> oh, her real name is Bobby Bear. That's, yeah. Yeah. Bobby Bear. Okay. Um, so as I, as I said, actually, uh, we're, if you are in Minecraft, you could join us. Let me see if I can, if I make a screen share here. Uh, okay. We're at the, at the, um, at the spawn point. So if you're in Minecraft, you could join us at the spawn point. It's where you would begin uh, your adventure with us. Uh, let's see where, yeah, there's the ocean down there. So um, I don't know if I can jump that. I don't think I can. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, there's a, there's a turtle down there we were looking at just a minute ago. And this is where you start, if, if you come onto the server for the first time, you start the spawn point. And uh, 
Let me uh, unshare that. Is there something else I'd like for you to see? We have a dynamic map and let's see if I can share that. It's coming up my Zoom somehow. Okay, so if I share the dynamic map, um, okay, so this is a, this dynamic map shows us where our whole world is. And it shows us that someone just said, oh, really? And uh, someone is saying, you can see what people are saying in the, in the, the chat. This is our spawn point, the spawn area in. Uh, um, Vance, Vance excuse me, you're saying spawn? Span? Spawn. Spawn. Yes. S-P-A-W-N? That's correct. Yeah. The theory okay. is that when you first land in uh, Minecraft, you spawn there. And when you spawn there, you have nothing in your hand. It's kind of a disorienting experience for your first time. But you spawn right at this beautiful house right here, which we're looking at. And um, and you can see how the you can see all the people who are in the house. You can talk to them if you go to this map. Actually, you can talk to them. Um, maybe I should put. Maybe can someone put his link in the text chat? Uh, you can find it in the sidebar. Bobby is, should be set up for that. Okay, so oh, I'll, okay. I'll zoom this out so you can see our world in general. All the worlds are spontaneously created in Minecraft. Uh, that is, I mean, sp by spontaneously, I mean they're, they're generated when you start your world. The world stays stable, but you can see the whole world, the whole known world, the known world, what is that? That's the world that people have traveled to or where the administrator would set the boundaries for. It goes beyond what you see here, but there's a lot of land to explore. It's infinite, basically. The larger this world gets, the more strain it puts on our server. So uh, that's really the only limit we have as a practical one. I think Mark would know something about that. So uh, I'll try to get back to where I saw the people. Um, I've lost the people. Oh, they should be up here somewhere. So I'm scrolling around and lost everybody. Oh. <laughs> we should be somewhere in the middle. There we go. All right. There we are. So we're we're here on our world. And Bobby and I have uh, been setting up some paths on our world which uh, show you the paths. So, and we've set up tutorials for you to follow these paths. So the paths uh, start over here. Bard, uh, Ro uh, Bard, uh, she calls herself Bard Rose in Minecraft. And uh, there's her house there, has some pandas there. And the paths go uh, around a lake and they go up a hill and they, you can see the paths. This is where Bobby and I live, Bobby Bear and Teacher Lance. There are villages in our world, and uh, Bobby Bear and I build shelters, and um, we've got tutorials of showing you how to travel to these places. And down here, we have to go to this island and swim across and reach this other place. And from there, we go to the north. It's north over there. There's a harbor here. We can use boats to go. And uh, there are desert villages, and it gets really interesting. Uh, there are secret things in these villages. You can learn about them as you go. So there's a lot of intrinsic interest in Minecraft. And I suppose what we try to do is um, um, make it so uh, students would be interested and make, make something that will um, attract students, uh, you know, like language is a really obviously a good one. Uh, language will, I hear some, some zapping in the background, I'll put that at Jane's house. It's probably somebody playing a game over there. Okay, I think I might turn off the waiting room because I'm fairly confident now that we're not going to have Zoom bombers. So let me do that. I'll turn off the waiting room so that Everyone is joining. So Ann Hendler has joined us. Um, and Don Carroll is coming. He's just heading in right well, now. Don says that he doesn't have the 
the um, room code. Okay. Or oh, well, he has to register, and then you get the code. He he okay. says he's he says he's having trouble registering, and he doesn't. He would you know. So oh. well, he's participating on our Facebook, watching uh -huh. okay. his life. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Try, try, um, there you I'm go. in. Oh, you're here. Don, you're just yep. making trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I mean, wow. I, read the I did this. I did the same thing twice and it worked the second time. Okay. Uh, Don, uh, you scared typical, me. Typical, typical like, with all things. Out of nowhere. Okay, yeah. Vance, um, I'm trying to give them. Hello, the ev hello everyone. Hi, Don. Sorry, but Great to have you here. I'm trying to give people the link to the registration. Well, it's in the, uh, the link to the registration is in the uh, front page. Yeah. Not, no, it's not on the front page. It's in the, uh, what is it called? The, the um, live events page. Right. So yeah, so the, there's a link to the registration. That's basically, I turned off the waiting room. So anybody can come in now. I'm not worried now that we're having okay. Zoom bombers generally appear at the beginning and uh and i think we're pretty safe now so but still people need to have a code to come in they have to have a password and they have to get that in their email so that each passwords are particular to each person so let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about uh who we are and uh, and where you can get the information uh, let me get back to zoom here okay so I'm going to do another screen share. And then if anybody else wants to share the screen, if you have something to show us. Oh, hi, Tilly. How are you? Good to see you. I met Tilly a long time, uh, turn of the century in Cyprus, something like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And and so you're you're back with us in Minecraft. You've sort of been... I know. It's my annual fix. You know, I, I don't have time the rest of the year, but I just make time for it. And uh, so I start again more or less from zero. I went into survival and got killed by zombies and <laughs> spiders. A few excellent, times. excellent. It's good for your health. Hey. Yeah. What doesn't really kill you doesn't really hurt you. No, I know. I learned a few things. Managed to second time round. I had a sword in my hand. There you go. Yo, Bobby is always reminding me about that. She has to remind me, otherwise I would just forget. Oh yeah. Yeah. So she's very good at that. Let me show you where. Uh, let's see. Where do we start here? I think here, oops, oh no, the problem is there's a mouse over that brings the controls down over my tabs. Okay, so I think people usually start at evosessions.pbworks.com and they answer a call for participation. And when you go down here, you find EVO Minecraft MOOC. And if you click there, it shows you uh, all our coordinators. I might as well mention all the coordinators the moderators, I'm sorry, coordinators coordinate EVO and Jane and I are coordinators of EVO. And Aaron, this guy here is the guy who runs the server. He's ex extremely busy and very dedicated. Don Carroll just joined us. Uh, Jane is there with Maddie and uh, Maddie showed us how you could make fireworks yesterday at the party. We had a, a server party yesterday. Uh, that's Jeff Kuhn. Uh, he and I wrote a kind of a, uh, an article together on this, and Jeff was one of the Jeff ran the first server, and uh, was a real guiding mentor in our, our first couple of years. And there's uh, K4 Sons, Kim Harrison, and this is Sura, Laura Briggs, and she's the one who built the uh, uh, the spawn point house. And Mariana uh, Smolchets has two sons, uh, Philip and Dome Boy. And Philip was, uh, when he was 11 years old in 1915, he, um, uh, maybe even before that, we wrote an article about him, Jane, uh, not Jane, Mariana, interviewed him and we put an article in Tessa Lee J. And it was all about how he was learning English by interacting with people worldwide in Minecraft. So we became good friends. Bobby and I visited them in Croatia and we met their other son, Domogoy. And we sit and talk to Domogoy. He is fluent in English, just absolutely, you know? And how do you do that? And uh, uh, he and Philip explained that, well, they would sit and watch 
movies about Minecraft and they didn't understand a thing at first, but as they just kept watching the movies, meaning emerged, they said. So gosh, that's really, it really works, I guess. I plus one, maybe there's something to it. Mercedes Petrascu is a, he teaches scripting. He does some very interesting things on Minecraft. Uh, Rose Bard is, has a son, Emmanuel. I saw Emmanuel on the server map a moment ago, so I guess he's here. And that's uh, me with my, my, one of my girlfriends. Uh, no, that's a teacher Vance and Bobby Bear. So these are, we are the coordinators. But the uh, important information from the, um, from the proposal is everybody sees this, how to join this group. And there's a form to fill out. Uh, I think you all know about it. You can stop me if you want to see more about this. But uh, basically, you can get this here. You click on that link. It gives you a form. You fill it out. And you join the Facebook group to communicate with us and go here for more information. That's very important. So I click on that link to go there for more information. This is our, our portal page. This is the manual, really. You have to leaf through a manual or refer to something. Uh, EVO Minecraft MOOC is uh, uh, the, the missions for EVO Minecraft MOOC is there. Uh, today I fixed something. This is pointing to uh, 2020 page. So I'm fixing things here all the time, but I think it's pretty much up to date. But it tells you also uh, on this page, oh, there's Rose's uh, uh, introduction video that she made. Uh, I, I'm not sharing sound, so. Uh, but it has a little musical background. So it's zooming into the spawn point. There's our turtle beach there. And up here, where we set up our boats. And there she's moving around to the overhead. OK, you can go to that page, and you can click there, and you can see that it's only another 20 seconds long. So we saw most of that. So here on this page, it's a very important page, missionsforminecraft.pbworks.com. Um, it tells you how to it tells you what our tag is. That's important. Tag right about us. Use our tag. Uh, what are your first steps to join us in Minecraft? Fill out the form. Buy Minecraft. You have to do that. Uh, this tells you about our server. Uh, how you can configure the server. That's very important. We're we're playing uh, Minecraft 1.16.4, and there are schematics here that show you how to install that particular version. We might change it later, you never know. So you, you need to know where to find how to do this. You put in this address when you've installed it. The, the, in fact, it changes so quickly that these are for 1.16.1, but it works the same for 1.16.4. Uh, so you install 1.16.4, 1, 1. 1.16.4, and then uh, you can play with this. If you don't do that, uh, you can't, it doesn't connect. Okay, so um, uh, Olive Tree made some other uh, uh, videos to show you how to do that with earlier versions of Minecraft. Uh, our server has rules. If you type slash rules, you can see the server rules. They're basically be respectful, don't build in other people's homes, don't take items from chests, I would add, without their permission, be ethical. These are kind of important. You don't build in other people's property, other people, places other people have set up. Um, Joe Kay and her group uh, says we, uh, we have to be a reasonable distance from other people's builds, and that's one minute's Minecraft walking distance from other people. So anyhow, those are things to be aware of. And going back to, uh, uh, we have video tutorials. Let me show you these. Um, Bobby and I are very proud of these. We've been spending the last couple of months making them, just having a gas doing it. Uh, VST, uh, Kim Harrison's group, uh, has Minecraft Mondays. We're going to have one on Redstone with her in February, first Monday in February. But, uh, well, let's see, I'll just scroll down here and we can see some of these things as they come up. Uh, the, the video thumbnails aren't coming in. None of them are coming. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's uh, Ari, Ari Ben Lazar was building a hole in the ocean to uncover an ocean temple. Uh, that's a video I made of him doing that. 
Uh, there's one of these guys, one of these uh, Endermen. If, if you see an Enderman, don't look at it. It will teleport to where you are and it will attack you. So you have to be very careful about that. Now then, um, so basically we take you on trips up those paths and take you all around the server. So you can, you can see how to get started in Minecraft there. And um, those are, they're, they're about 20, 30 minutes each. Okay, so going back over to missions from Minecraft where we left off. Um, let's see, if you join us in Facebook. If you need information about how to um, get into Discord, it's here. It's very important that you, um, that you join us in Discord because when we speak to each other in Minecraft, it's, um, it's much easier than typing. Typing is kind of a pain. So please, if you, if you want us to help you, join us in Discord. That's the best way that we can help you however you can manage. But, um, and, and I'm speaking not just to people here, but also to people who will see this recording later. So um, we have a live events page. That's also a very important page. This live events page, the events are announced in a Google um, calendar. Some people are using Discord to announce their events. Some people are announcing events in Facebook. Some of them, I don't know where else they're announcing them, but anyway, I've got to keep track of all this. So uh, I put them all in this list. So if you want to know what I know, you can come to this list and you can uh, see like today, there's this session at uh, started about 17 minutes ago and uh, Jane and Bobby Bear and I are showing you uh, around the server. And this is where you would find the Zoom registration link, by the way, on this page. So if you went to the, the live events page, you could, uh, you could find out how to click on the link and get the information to register for Zoom. But we're not going to be back in Zoom again. Probably we might be. I don't know if someone asked for it. But basically, we're going to conduct our events in Discord and in Minecraft. It's very important that we get into Minecraft. There's no point really in talking about Minecraft. You have to get into it. It's a lot of fun. And isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. OK. So uh, what was that? Vance, can I share um, my slides quickly? It'll take just a couple seconds, and then we could go into Minecraft. And perhaps if Aaron would like to share something with us. OK. Can I? Can I just make sure that people know the essentials? Because I'm, I, I think actually we're pretty much down to the last thing. Groups IO, okay. you can go there and okay. register yeah. if you have a, a question. There are several people who joined Groups IO already and we're taking questions from uh, Groups IO. The people, we anticipate that it's gonna be difficult for people to get themselves into Discord and Minecraft right away. And um, so you can get your questions answered there. And then the other things show you the goals for uh, for the different weeks. This would, well, I'm happy to see your uh, uh, presentation, but it, this is where uh, Rose would pick up uh, to show us how she's integrated the Facebook units with, with this. So either of you are fine to get going now, and I've, I've, I've had my moment. So what do you think? Shall we see your, is it appropriate to show your, uh, your slides now, Jane? We're talking about the same thing, if, but if um, Rose would like to share the Facebook um, functions, yeah, okay, let, Rose, let me, let me make you, you guys, go ahead. Let me mm -hmm. make you, how uh, about how about you show your slides that you have prepared, and I can come in and uh, okay and talk about it as well. If you know, it'll just be like. very quick. I just want I so go ahead, I, darling. Go ahead. Um, that, that gave me a chance to make you a co-host. So. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I need to find my slide first. Hi, Sadat. Okay. Sadat's in Turkey. He says he's really keen on getting into Minecraft this time around. There's so many people seem to be stuck at home these days, wondering what to do. Mm -hmm. Sadat is a professor uh, and uh, in Turkey, and uh, this one. glad to see him here. He's a longtime webhead. Okay. 
pretty nice. I think she got it covered. Okay. Go so ahead, this, Jane. Okay, so this is very quickly, this is our spawn point and we're gonna show you where in uh, in Minecraft or perhaps, yeah. You, you can share these it has already, Yeah, it has already been, been done. Okay. Yeah, and this is, um, we can warp creative. This is the creative world. And I think um, Aaron can show us, tell us more about the create, how to warp to creative. Um, this stop, was stop. the- we, we're, we're playing in survival in the world that you just saw. The spawn okay. area is peaceful. It's been made peaceful. So you're not in much oh. danger there. Uh, okay, if you yeah. wander too far away from it, you're in danger. So creative, you can go to creative if you warp creative. Is that right? Warp space creative? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this was Dax's party last night. And um, this is what I would like to show you. This is the, the face, um, our Facebook functions. And Rose can tell us more about that. Take Thanks, your time. Jane. Take your time. We have plenty yes. of time. I have okay. plenty of time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, basically, uh, we organized um, the Facebook group in a way that we're going to be posting like weekly instructions, um, sort of like really short, you know, to get you on the basics of that week. One of the things that I really like about our session is that we have this journey, um, like the first week is orientation, get ready, you know, for the party. Then the second week that it's about you're setting your own goals, you know, for what do you want to get from our session and then the network and so on. Um, and every week then, as we progress through the weeks, you're going to have this self-learning journey in community. And this is really, really an amazing journey. I, I've taken it in 2016 when I joined it. And it's really oh. beneficial if you can go through it. I'm, I'm sorry, um, hang on a minute. Hang, hang on a minute. Let me, go ahead. I stopped James share oh, because I thought sorry. you were talking and you might want to show us where these are in Facebook, but you can do that. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I, uh, yes, uh, no, because actually the main point here is really to let them know that we're uh -huh. going to post weekly uh, posts yeah. as an instructional, you know, just like an orientation for the week. And then we have separate posts for the missions of the week. And the, like uh, Jane, you know, posted here in her slide, we have the topics that you need to use the hashtag to, um, to actually tag your posts. So when we click, for example, as you progress in the missions and actually you post according to what's requiring that mission on Facebook group, and when we click on that hashtag, actually we're gonna see everyone's post. So, and I'm also going to provide today a document in the file um, to organize all the um, syllabus in a way that can link to those hashtags. So it just to facilitate and also function as a reminder, you know, of every week and get us going together, you know, through this journey. So just remind of that using hashtags according to the missions. That would be That's really cool. Okay. Thank you, Rose. So we're using Thank hashtags you guys. For, on Facebook. Um, and missions will be posted by Rose. Next is groups IO and um, Vanta has already um, showed us groups IO. If you want to join us, this is the link and I'll provide you with the, this PowerPoint slide. Uh, but all the information is also on our wiki. So um, next is um, our Discord and this is a Discord in, in, um, invite link, and you, if you click on it, uh, you'll get invited to our Discord. Um, and it, can I say that Groups.io is for people who want to ask questions, uh, who okay. might be lost at this point, because we have only five weeks together. So Groups.io, you should join if you want to, um, if you think you're, you're lost and you want to ask questions. I'm Bobby and I are monitoring Groups.io, so we'll, we'll help mm -hmm. you immediately. Uh, mm -hmm. as soon as we see your email. And uh, then Discord is where we're actually going to be. And Discord has its own ecosystem, which uh, Jane is introducing right now. 
Okay. Um, I think perhaps um, may, I, may I add also, may yeah. I add also that I'm trying to add to the Facebook posts of the missions, like links, you know, that you could find in the week and also direct to you to the wiki if you want more information. So as much as we can there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and this is Discord and um, if you want to join us, um, talk to each other, you could click on Playground Central, Playground One, these, you know, with these you are able to talk to each other. And um, for hashtags, those are chats, you know, where you could text or upload images, okay. So this is the, it, this is our link to our Discord. Can I, can I stop you just um, a minute? On this page, yes. you're in the, under show and tell. You're in uh, images and reflections. So that's the that's a channel. That's what you call that a channel or a okay within Discord. And so they each have their tag. They have hashtags, and the ones with the uh, uh, speakers in front of them, they're actually places where you go into uh, Discord and connect with people. So if you see at the very bottom where Jane has next to her uh, icon is showing the, the the microphone is open and I can't really see, see she's not in a channel uh, sorry her her, uh, her headset her, yeah her mic is open but she's not in a channel yet but she clicked on playground to her uh, yeah or any of those playgrounds then her uh, avatar would appear there her, her name and then it would start lighting up as she starts uh, um, speaking. Okay. And if other people Thank are there, if, if you go there and you see that other people oh. are in one of the playgrounds, you can join them. Okay. So that's how we know um, who's online. Wait, this is, you know, here, right here. Mm -hmm. You could see here, do you, do you see my... Um, mm -hmm. Your pointer? Your, this, your, is, yeah. this is, um, you know, Dak is here, Olive is here, and the three of us. And, in playground one right now? In or playground that's... one right now. Okay. Playground yeah. one right now. Okay. All right. But, uh, mm -hmm. are, you, are you in uh, Zoom and Discord on the same computer? I don't know. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, Sorry. great. So oh, but, we, we but, hear you um, too. Oh, that's great. Oh, hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, Olive Tree. Uh -huh. Hi. I didn't realize Dad. we could bring you into, uh, into Zoom through Discord. Isn't that cool? You may not be bringing her in at all. It may simply be the volume from the speaker going on through Zoom. Could be. Either way, it's Hi, coming through. Where? Hi, Mariana. Hi, Mariana. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi. <laughs> OK. OK, so they're, they're in Playground 1. And another thing one. you can see, if you go to the bottom of that screen, you can see that there's a telephone with an X over it. And oh, right. Yeah, the telephone with the X over it, If you, as long as it's there, you're in the channel. But when you leave, you oh, have to click on the X. One. You have to disconnect. Otherwise, you stay in the channel and people can hear what you're doing in your house while you're out wandering about. So. All right. Hi, guys. I'm in Zoom now. Uh, oh. I, I joined the playground, but I don't know whether the mics are working on both sides. They are working oh, okay. just fine. That's Mariana. She's uh, MS or M Smolchitz. She's mm -hmm. uh, in Croatia. It's her mm -hmm. live from the live from the kitchen. <laughs> live from the kitchen. All right, coming to us in Zoom yeah. through uh, Discord. That we just learned okay. that we could do that with Jane. Brilliant. All right, I, I think I'm gonna stop sharing myself. Okay. So if Aaron would like to, would you like to say something, Aaron? Sure. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, Aaron, I just made you a co-host in case you want to share anything. Okay, excellent. So, um, uh, so you guys have seen um, this Minecraft server and, and everything. Um, uh, for those of you that are new, um, you should know that pretty much anytime anyone starts a game of Minecraft, 
they kind of generate a new, entirely new world that kind of develops as you're exploring. Um, and so if you're playing single player on your own computer, you have your just own world that can generate randomly in whatever direction you want. Uh, well, whatever direction it wants rather. And um, so for the multiplayer servers, um, generally it's like, you know, it, um, it's, it's set up in a way where it's gonna be on all the time. And, um, and so we've been doing this, I've been doing this for like five years now. And um, up until this year, um, I had like one continuous world that people were living in, that, that people were building in. And they had like a nice little village where everybody uh, lived. And um, actually, I think I can show it. Um, well, anyway, um, everybody had like a nice little village in 2016. And then when we met again in 2017, they just moved to another location and built another village. But then, you know, while you're exploring, you could stumble upon the old village. Um, when we started this year, my dogs are barking. Uh, when we started this year, um, uh, I started a new map that, um, I, that people got to explore on and everything. And so um, what we're on now is kind of the newer map. But then a few weeks ago, I added, um, um, I imported the old map. So you, you can visit the old places um, if you want to. Um, one thing that I've been working on a lot uh, as we've been doing this is there's a plugin called DynMap, which runs actually, the, I think Vance has already linked to it, the, uh, the map uh, that you can access uh, over the web. It has the same URL as the server. Yeah, let me share my screen. If I can. Too many apps. <laughs> okay. Now, Aaron has done quite a lot of work on the server and has improved. Yeah, and so there, there are things on the server that are, so like if you hear us using the word vanilla, Vanilla is kind of uh, slang for like unchanged, un, unmodified, things like that. So the server is changed slightly from vanilla Minecraft. Um, it, it, it is intended to give you kind of a vanilla um, experience. Um, what I'm sharing right now, this is DynMap. And you can see, actually, this is more players than have been on the server in a year. Um, but you can see, like, I have like a live map and everybody who's in the game is talking to each other. Like you can see Gaming Dazzle and Olive Tree are, are, are talking, oh, and somebody just warped. And so like everybody who's on there, you can see I'm, in the, I'm over here in the middle of, uh, of everything. This is the spawn area over here. Um, so this is a website that's hosted on the same computer that is hosting the server. And um, this actually takes, um, uh, this, this is something that I, I kind of spent a lot of time working on. Um, there are different layers you can look at. Like I, I can move around the map. Um, I can hide the players. I can um, uh, see where everybody's homes are. You can see, so those little houses that just popped up, that's where everybody set a home. So homes, that's one of the features that isn't in the vanilla Minecraft, but we've added here. It allows you to have kind of a save point that you can go back to when you die or that you can um, teleport to. So we got the homes and then we also have public warps, which you can see, I replaced the image for it. Um, by the way, if you run into this stuff, um, all this was built by my brother, who is Ari Ben Lazar. He plays on the, I asked him to just go on the server and build stuff. And so, so he's built some neat stuff that you can stumble upon. Um, but um, like they're like a little teleport guy uh, that shows you where the warps are. So, um, so um, again, if you're in the game, if you do backslash warps, it'll tell you where you can warp to. And we have several of those. Um, if things aren't working the way you expect, or if there's some feature you want added, I'm the person to talk to and I'll, I'll work with you on it. Uh, the other thing I've been working with, and I'm, I'm still learning, I see this as a learning experience for me. So, um, you know, as, as it, I, I'm not, I'm also not afraid of breaking things. 
So, so if something's broken, it might no, be because I don't I, break it, anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you notify me. So, to, so uh, you know, I, I'm so if I break something, I fix it too. Uh, but, but one thing I've been working on is uh, World Guard, and so when I um, show you that, you can see that these red areas are kind of protected areas. And I just want to switch, just switch to bird's eye view of the map here. And so you can see this larger red area is an area we set aside to be peaceful, meaning no monsters are going to attack you there. You can still get hungry and die of starvation, but um, you and you can still fall, uh, but you um, you won't get attacked by monsters, even though that didn't seem to work this morning. Um, but then these areas that aren't in red are not protected like that. Um, they're also um, they're also protected in a way where um, I can set owners for these areas. And then if you're the owner, you can decide who can and cannot build in that area. So like if you're if you're trying to like have kind of like a more managed area um, or you don't want people to damage your builds or things like that, you can use this world, world guard uh, tool. And if anyone wants me to help them set up world guard for an area, um, you can coordinate with me. And then Sura is also, um, uh, learning how to use that as well. And uh, she's also doing, she's also done quite a bit with world edit, which um, is um, kind of a way that you can use commands to um, uh, make big changes to the world all at once. Like if you wanted to build a pyramid or something like that by typing commands instead of continuously building the pyramid. Um, so um, survival mode and uh, creative mode were mentioned earlier. So um, uh, the first couple of years I was involved in this, we would start in creative mode. And I feel like creative mode is most analog to those of you, those of you who might remember Microsoft Paintbrush, um, you know, where you just, you know, you draw. <laughs> um, if you're in creative mode, you can access any of the items in Minecraft and you can do whatever you want um, and, and you can build whatever you want. Um, and that's, again, creative mode. If you're in survival mode, then you're trying to survive and there are monsters and you have limited access to resources and things like that. So um, what we've done, what, I've, what I have set up right now basically is that those of you that have the rank of builder um, should be able to change between creative and, um, and uh, survival whenever you want uh, to try them both. But as Rose pointed out, we do have a world set aside, and it's it's a world that we've been using uh, for a few years. That, um, let me move that out of the way. so we have this super flat creative world. So we may, we have this world that has no terrain. It has no biomes. It's just um, a flat world where you can just build whatever you want, and. Um, I think Jeff's not here today, but you can see like he recreated some of the buildings from Lord of the Rings um, in here. Um, you can see we kind of have some domes. Um, so th this is um, the same place that um, Rose showed earlier. This is the the uh, creative spawn world. And and wow. and, and, and it, oh yeah, I think Dakota uh, built this um, or imported it from somewhere. Um, so. If you're in this world, you can fly. You hit space bar twice and you can fly. And, um, and you can go and see what other people have built. You can just um, access your inventory and access whatever and build whatever you want. This is also where, um, um, where we might um, practice something. You know, Maybe there's something you wanna build in the survival world, but you're not exactly sure how it'll work out. You might wanna build it in the creative world first uh, and then, um, you know, when there's less at stake <laughs> and then go back to the survival world once you have the design figured out. Um, so this is, this is like an option. I see Dakota said something about no litter. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that, that's an octopus. And I think that's built by what, like a professor techno from Paris or Fr France. I'm, I'm, I forgot. Mm -hmm. This yeah, octopus I... look. It looks more like a spider octopus. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if Aaron remember, but back in the day when that appeared on Creative Map, we had um, 
you know, that mob, I always forget its name, the one from the nether with the three heads one. Uh -huh. What's the name? Oh. Anyways, yeah. um, you know, it's sort of like a plugin. Uh, I mean, like game, a mini game plugin, I guess, okay. some sort of that actually generate the structure automatically when you load the plugin. Oh, the uh, yeah. And then it generates, every time you enter the area, it generates the mobs and you need you need to kill it. And once it comes out, it's like it caused mass destruction. I don't remember if we actually managed to destroy um, whatever was generating it, like the common block or whatever. I, I don't remember. Oh, I don't know. I remember yeah. having a hard time with that one back then. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned command blocks. Uh, that's that's one thing we've played around with on this server is there's kind of, yeah. it's, it's kind of a cheat mode type thing, but basically you can imbue commands like like actual computer commands into a single block and then like attach a button to it or something. And so you can write programs that run in the mm -hmm. game and then uh, make it so your players can can um, uh, play out those programs. Um, a couple of the, so, so um, Rose also just mentioned plugins. I should mention a, a couple of plugins that I currently have running on here that, um, that are meant to enhance the experience. Um, one is, um, well, I mentioned Dynamap and, and, and that's one that, um, as you can imagine, as a website, this, this is super large. It takes up just like hundred, like a couple hundred gigs of space just because of all these tiles and everything. Uh, but, um, but in terms of um, things that you can play, uh, that, that can help your play style in the game, um, I have something that causes it so, um, typically in vanilla Minecraft, if you sleep, um, the, day, the nighttime ends, right? All the monsters come out at night, and if you can sleep, then it becomes day, and then you're safe from the monsters, simply put, you know, basically, right? Um, so I have something on here that's set up for single player sleep. Um, in the past, it had to be that everybody had to sleep at the same time in order to, to end the night. Now it's set up so if anybody sleeps, the night ends. Um, another thing I set up, and this was kind of at the request of my brother who was on here, um, he wanted to do kind of more like artistic things with like setting up his builds. So one thing he wanted was, um, uh, armor stand editor. So one of the things that you can build in the game is you can you can build like an armor stand to hold the armor that you're not wearing, basically just to store it in your house somewhere. Um, we added a plugin that allows you to edit those armor stands so you can move the arms and legs and the head around. So you can create a scene. You can you, you can use them basically as mannequins to build. Uh, a, a scene, and he, he has one of those set up. Um, am I sharing my full screen or just my, okay. Wait. We can see the creative world. Yeah, let me switch so I'm sharing. Your my, full screen. Okay, um, so now, now I'm sharing my Minecraft. Let me just go over to, uh, oh, I don't know if I can type. So he set up this which is loosely inspired by the uh, village from the end of Blazing Saddles. Um, and, uh, but you can see like these guys are like mannequins and his uh, arms are, he's looking up at something. And then this one has my head and he's a little boy. And um, yeah, and so he was able to kind of move their arms around. And so that's, he put himself up there. And, uh, and, and so that's something he did with the um, uh, armor stand editor. Um, and you, he was kind of trying to uh, emulate like an old West Village with a water tower back here. So, you know, he's, he's trying to kind of build things that you see in real life or see in the movies. Um, armor stand editor, and then what else? Did I oh, um, signs. Um, you know, we, we, we put signs in different places. I'm trying to put a sign near here. Oh, here, I got one. So I was working on this the other day. Um, these are just signs that I put on a wall here. And the idea is these signs give kind of more information that like maybe admins would want to know about. Like, so for example, if you're using colors, if you look here, 
um, it gives me, I right clicked on it and then it gives me like all of the kind of color codes that you can use when you're creating signs or when you're um, uh, creating um, books in Minecraft. Um, uh, this explains the armor stands. It just gives a, a, a URL that I can click on that will take me there. Um, where else? Uh, what else? Um, yeah, and again, again, I have it. So like you right click on here and you get like a, um, a link you can click on. Um, this is about the, um, I, I, one thing I haven't done in the past that I've started doing this year is I now have the server also kind of doing a series of, of backups. It's trying to back itself up like twice a day. Um, so if something does get destroyed or something like that, that we need, I can get it back. Um, what else? How do you get the colors? Yeah, I think that's science? basically there. I think I don't want to overload you with information and I'm not finished building this thing yet, but the, the idea is that these signs can um, give you information. Um, and then also I have, um, again, this is something I've kind of just playing around with. And now that there's people on the server, people might figure out how to use it. Um, there's, um, it, you, when you started on here, you might've seen that you have a bag of gold in your inventory. That bag of gold is not vanilla Minecraft. It's not something that everybody has. It's just something that, that I added to this server. Um, when you log in, you get it like a certain amount of money. And then here I have a bank where if you come into this bank, you can store your money in this bank. Oh no, I lost all my gold. If you lost, so, so, you didn't um, store it in Aaron's bank, did you? <laughs> so no, like, I lost it, my money. It's a trap. So, and if you look in the bank, it says things like keep an open inventory slot for your money. Don't lose your bag or you'll lose your cash. And so there's like the bag. Um, and here's where I can like withdraw one. See, it says I withdrew one gold piece. Um, again, I have an info sign right here that takes you to the information about the plugin itself that I'm using. Um, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit buggy. I've noticed if you switch back and forth between um, survival and creative, it keeps giving you more gold and creative. <laughs> um, Thanks for the tip. So, so it's kind of like an artificial <laughs> economy. Inside tip. Um, but I, I'm, I'm interested in doing a little more with the bank. I was thinking about creating a, a, like a basement vault with safety deposit boxes. Um, so um, that's something where the money itself doesn't do anything in the game. Um, my idea was if people are interested in using the money and they want to use the money, they'll find ways to use it or, or, or later on I'll find a purpose for it. But for now, I just wanted to see if, you know, if it breaks the server <laughs> and, uh, and um, if people are kind of aware of it. One thing that kind of annoys me about it is it takes up an inventory slot. So it's kind of better to keep it in the bank. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, those are kind of some things I'm playing with. Um, one other um, plugin that's not on here currently is ScriptCraft, um, which I will be adding back on later because um, what ScriptCraft does is it allows you to kind of write um, little programs actually using JavaScript and then, apply that, and then apply that into the game. So if anyone is kind of working on their JavaScript chops and wants to create something that, that happens in the game or create some events or create some auto building technology, um, you can um, work with me and um, I'll you know, make sure you have the right permissions to do that. Um, it's something that I'm a little wary of, of letting people go too crazy on it because you got to be careful not to like, you know. Um, I know somebody <laughs> crashed a server last time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happens. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not the most powerful <laughs> server in the world. I'm actually amazed that there's this many players on it and it's and it's running pretty smoothly. It's got 20 ticks per second, so I'm happy about that. Um, you, um, yeah, that, that that that's kind of where it's at right now. Um, we didn't really talk about the other worlds, but again, if you're on Dynamap, let me switch this back over to Dynamap. Dynamap, I guess. Aaron, yes. while you're doing that, how do you get the bright colors on your on your signs? Um, actually, that that colors thing I just showed you a second ago showed you the color codes. Um, on my Windows computer, the color codes, um, the way I use them, there's a, there's a series of codes with. Um, an ampersand and then a number or maybe a letter. Mm -hmm. um, 
Okay. And yeah, it's lagging a little bit. Okay. Uh, Aaron, um, excuse me, Mariana. Uh, there was a question in the chat regarding the plugins. Can you please read it and answer it to one of our participants, please? Um, I'm having trouble switching out of the. Oh, wait, here we go. Uh, what was the okay, question? Okay, so the question was Is the list of plugins recorded somewhere so we can explore? If you are in game, you can type backslash plugins. And it tells you all of them. Um, some of these plugins are um, are basically in place to help other plugins work. Um, one of the ones that's new for this year is the Discord SRV. What that does is it ports the um, the in-game chat over to Discord, and it allows people in Discord to chat in the game. So, um, like, I can go over. Um, I'm not sharing anymore but I can go over into Discord and go into this channel server chat and say, hello. And then in the game, it comes up as um, somebody from Discord saying hello. Um, yeah, so if, yeah, if you do backslash plugins, it'll do that. Also, if you do backslash help, it'll tell you the commands that are available to you. Um, uh, the world guard and world edit stuff, I've, I think I've made those available to Builder 2. I, I kind of do want to limit some of these because some of them are really powerful and have the potential to shut to crash the server. So, um, so I try to kind of limit it to like the people who actually need these things or or have or have kind of requested it from me. Um, but yeah, so um, so ye, and again, if there's any other plugins that people are interested in. Um, you can let me know and I can figure out if I can add it or not. The main one on here is Essentials. And Essentials um, includes the homes and the warps and the ability to do the backups. And it also includes a jail feature. Um, so like if somebody's misbehaving, you can jail them. <laughs> and um, I also, there, there's one I have, uh, the death chests um, is, not, is actually not um, Essentials. That's a different one. Um, I, I have one on here that basically makes it so when you die, all of your inventory gets stored in a chest that sits on the server for two hours. So um, you can at least go back and find it. Um, I, personally, I like survival mode to be a little bit hard um, because it's survival mode um, and creative mode to be very easy because it's creative mode. Um, I, a lot of times uh, people request for me to like, make survival mode easier <laughs> and make it so you don't lose your stuff when you die and stuff like that. And I kind of drag my feet about doing things like that, but then usually eventually relent if enough people bug me about it. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, I like it, you know, if it's survival mode, you know, there's gotta be a little bit of risk, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, but, it, but it's very, very customizable. And if anyone's interested in building their own servers, um, I'd be I'd be interested in in, in um, helping people out with that as well and, and and lending my my advice after doing this for the past couple of years. Any other questions? Thank you so much, Aaron. Oh, thanks for the feedback, uh, like to, uh, Dakota, By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you. Oh, by the way, if you uh, do visit Classic uh, Survival. I just yeah, Mariana. Uh, uh, sorry, Mariana. I, I wanted to comment on your survival mode. I love it. for my mode of more, and I remember those used to cheat and to make a, a night or or daylight. But those are more experienced uh, uh, Minecrafter. And uh, oh, Vance yeah. has, has also posted the link, a uh, very useful link from Minecraft game. Piaz can read more about the day cycle. Oh, yeah, the, and the days, I, I missed most of your question. It was kind of garbled, but I, I did hear you say something about like switching from day to night. Um, the day to night cycles are, are, and this is normal to Minecraft, is they're, they're 10 minute, I think it's 10 minutes of day and then 10 minutes of night. So like a Minecraft full day is 20 minutes. Um, that, that is something that can be modified. 
on different servers, but ours is 10 and 10 like that. Um, if you are, if you have admin privileges, I believe you can change the time. So I, you can say time set, for example, I could say time set morning and then the time on the whole world changes. Or I could say time set night and then the, the time on, on the, in the server changes. Um, or you can set it to like a specific time. So I can be like time set, oh, 500. Um, so, um, and again, that will affect whether or not there's monsters around because the monsters do um, spawn in darkness. Most of them do anyway. So, um, so yeah, a lot of like, you know, survival players, a big part of surviving is making sure you're safely indoors at night. Uh, to address the uh, the people who don't have these control over setting clocks, uh, the secret is to uh, at at the spawn point you'll notice there are a lot of sheep and there's a box with shears in it, and if you get the shears and you get some wool you, from the sheep, you just right click on the sheep with the shears in your hand, then you'll get some wool and you need uh, three pieces of wool plus uh, a couple of planks which you get from trees. You cut down a tree or, or actually in the uh, spawn point area, there are uh, there's a box full of logs. And so uh, we can show you how to do that. But, but if you can make a bed, you carry a bed with you. And then if you get stuck somewhere, you can put the bed down and try to sleep on it. Or we can show you, actually, if you go to the video tutorials Bobby Bear and I have made, then uh, it shows you how to uh, set up, you know, how to, how to create a shelter really fast and get into it and put a bed there and get light into it. Uh, and you can Google that and find all kinds of videos showing you how to survive the night in Minecraft. So a basic user needs to know how to, um, how to survive the night, but you don't want to just hang out in a cave for 10 minutes. Better the, the thing you need to do is get some wool, get some planks, make a bed, and then you can lay the bed down and you can right click on it and go to sleep. And that will make it daytime again. Yeah, I, I would also add, I, I think it came up in one of our Facebook discussions a little while ago. Uh, you should also leave the bed. You, you, you know, if you have a, you know, if you're exploring or something like that and you build a little house somewhere and put a bed in it, you should leave the bed there and take it with you and, and you know, make a new bed to, to, to carry. Because once you've left a bed there, that bed becomes kind of like a save point. And so you can get back to it. Yeah, because if you're killed, the last bed you slept in becomes your spawn point. Unless you have destroyed it and the bed is no longer there, then you can't spawn back to it. You might spawn well to the last place you had a spawn point. Could be the spawn the spawn point on the server is the first place you went to. But uh, mm -hmm. anyway, join us in Minecraft. We'll work you through all of these things yeah. in, a, in a, you know, not telling you right at the start. That's the whole thing is it's not top down learning. It, come join us, get on the server with us. We'll show you around. You can see what we do and we'll give you things from our collections. And uh, yeah. yeah, so we'll help people. Uh, we make it really easy for you. It's a lot of fun to play in survival. It's a lot more fun, I think, than a creative. Creative, as Aaron pointed out, is a place where you can go and you can build anything because you you have no limit on the tool on the things you have. Everything that's available in Minecraft is available to you. So, but in in the survival world, you have to accumulate your resources, and um, but it's it's fun. Uh, it's always a challenge, and that's what I really like about it. So, um, but you know, join people, join people. Uh, Bobby and I will be there next Thursday. We've set up a time from uh, 1500, which is an hour earlier than we met tonight, up till this time, which is uh, 1600, sorry, thir yeah, th 1300 to 1500. Right now it's 1500 yeah. GMT. So we're gonna be there for two I, hours. Um, I, I would also Diana, like to read. Sorry. sorry, I will grab the mic for a moment. Okay. Um, I have been reading chat. Uh, so don't forget if you are a newbie in Minecraft, uh, the point is that um, we we have somebody who are newbies, some who have been joining us for years now, and it's a process. So the point is in uh, for you to read carefully the orientation of one, 
and when you just enter the game, uh, if you just practice uh, moving around on your keyboard and uh, clicking and uh, checking out what to build, um, uh, use uh, the pickaxe or any other tools, uh, maybe read some uh, cheats and suggestions of the, um, to move around uh, and you get a hang of it. Nobody expects that you can build an octopus uh, or uh, maybe go around in Minecraft. But the, the more you play, the better you get. And the more you uh, explore Minecraft, you will get more ideas on how you can use this maybe later on with your students. So I'm still, I won't say a newbie, but I'm still also new because I have two experts at home who play Minecraft. Uh, all in all, you also try to read some uh, interesting articles and as, as Vance mentioned, uh, watch some YouTube tutorials and we will definitely post many in Facebook. So just don't be scared and uh, have fun. Can I suggest that we take questions from people in the audience? Because we were at the top of the hour, but Bobby Bear and I are okay. Uh, for a little while so is, can does anybody else have anything they would really like to say or uh we could even go into minecraft and just play around there i'm just gonna have to go in a minute but i just mm -hmm. want to say i'm not a newbie as such but i always feel like one but i just want to say to people who are complete news it took me a couple of years of coming on to kind of get the idea and i think it was last year when i went into survival on my own and I got completely stuck down a mine and I, you know, and I needed people to help me to sort of get that. That's, you have to be scared to be fun. You know, mm -hmm. you, you have to really realize it. Um, and I think that's when I started to, to enjoy it. I, I actually enjoy the landscape. I mean, I can't really see for me personally how a completely flat green, uh, you know, uh, desert would be so interesting as the actual Minecraft um, environment because I, I like the fact that it's it really feels like you're exploring a wild you know territory, but um, I just I think it's something that definitely grows on you and there isn't a, a storyline to it so you just have to kind of um, just jump in there and I would try just going in survival on your own for a bit and then come back and see if you can get some tips to, to kind of how to survive in your own world for a bit mm -hmm. um, from the more experienced people, because that's where the fun starts, when you start to get some shortcuts and some tips. Anyway, I have to go, but anyway, okay, I'm looking Billy. forward to playing with everybody. Okay. Yeah, no. I, I just wanted to add that there are many, oh, thank you, Tilly. Uh, there are many different ways that people can play and interact with this, this game. And, you know, and people of different ages, you know, younger learners might be more interested in creative mode, whereas, you know, older learners, you know, might be more interested in survival mode or some of these economy aspects of it and things like that. And it's a process of discovery. I mean, when this came, when this game came out, it had no instructions. And so the idea was, you know, you learn as, as you figure things out and you learn, you know, from your community and things like that. So. I think that's been really fun about having this group that can kind of that, that kind of keeps going back and keeps looking at uh, different ways to do things and, and different people in this community are using it in different ways and I, I find that really interesting. One piece of advice I have for survival mode that it's it's kind of said in Minecraft circles that the first rule of Minecraft is don't dig straight down. Well, let me just say that to anyone who's trying out survival mode. If you're digging you know, make stairs. Don't don't go directly straight down because if you go straight down, that's a good way to get stuck or a good way uh, to get killed. So, <laughs> yeah. And I, I think I, I didn't have it up here, but it looks looks like a group of you went and killed the dragon while we were talking. Really? Or I, was it you or? I think it was Maddie or. Ah. Where was the dragon? And Gazel and Emmanuel and Philip oh, was the senior faculty. <laughs> <laughs> There's Deck. Hi, Deck. And Deck. Yeah, what I'm sharing right now is, is quote unquote the end. Ah, okay. Uh, if I might chime in with a little bit of wisdom, my t shirt I'm currently wearing says everybody plays their own game. And that's okay. Why? Why am I teleported to 
the end. I have Enderman. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, yeah. Maddie was killed. I was killed. Ah. What's an Enderman? Not a safe place. Yeah, the Ender, that's where they're from. They're from the end. Any more questions from people who would like to ask us something? Oh, what is, Claire was asking, what is AFK? Away from keyboard. Yeah, that was an easy one. <laughs> Away from keyboard. <laughs> yeah. You're sitting there without uh, doing anything, you're AFK. Aaron, are you planning to to give a workshop on, on how to, I guess Aaron didn't. Yeah, you the, were breaking up. Uh, yeah, oh. the, the, uh, it's breaking up, or yeah. at least for, for me it is. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any anything they'd like to add or uh, anything you'd like to ask in particular? As I said, Bob, Bobby, or, <laughs> Bobby, and I are planning to. I gotta watch out for Maddie. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> I just got all my stuff back and died again. Sorry. Uh, what was the question about uh, doing a workshop? <laughs> Yes, are you are you gonna give a workshop on how to set up uh, servers? Yeah, that's what I was talking about uh, 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 doing a little while ago. Um, I, I should point out like there's a couple different ways to do it, and we talked about that uh -huh. before. And really, the way that I'm experienced in is running a server off of a computer that you have available, as opposed to cloud hosting that a lot of other people are doing. Hold on, I want to get my inventory back. <laughs> okay, sorry to interrupt. Uh, but, but, it's, yeah, it's a very yeah. dangerous place <laughs> to be asking questions. I don't think and Sora, Sora was ever able to join us in Zoom. I don't know if she wants hmm. to say anything. Is she in Discord? Yeah, the, the, de the death that. chest I mentioned, if you, if you can see my screen or over here, and if you look, they have signs on them that say who they belong to. So that one was uh -huh. David Gazzles, that one. I <laughs> like, there have been a lot of deaths. Of <laughs> I need to get back to get mine as well. There's bracket, and they last for two hours. Okay. I hate to give people the impression that uh, joining us is going to be this tough. I think a lot of us. Uh, I mean, you can join people and, and go into the inner spaces if you like, but this is kind of an advanced uh, place that. Uh, yeah, they're, they're probably it, it, it's it's the like it's kind of silly like um, Minecraft. You know, it was never like a game that had like an end goal. And I think early on there were some criticisms. It's like, hey, how do you beat the game? And so then they added this level where you can go and get this dragon and beat the dragon. And so it's like, oh, there's an end to the game, and the and the world is called the end. But this is. What I'm looking at here, I mean, this is the, oh, these no. guys are more kind of advanced players than um, than newer people. And I can't see the dragon. Oh, there's the dragon. Which is recording. Or actually, the Zoom is recording, right? So you, you get this. Uh, Zoom is recording. Yeah, Zoom is recording. It should be streaming on Facebook. So you can see the dragon flying around back there. Uh, not very well. Oh, I see the I dragon. See it, I see I the see dragon. Its eyes. It's coming closer to me. I'm in oh, creative mode right now, so it can't hurt me. Wow. Oh. Ooh, but yeah, so is, nice. And so Maddie, is Maddie killing the dragon with the fireworks? Does that work? I, you know, that's not my area. I mean, that's a good question for Maddie. Maddie, can we kill it with the fork? Okay, guys, uh, probably last chance for mm -hmm. people in the chat. This is a good time to ask uh, questions while the geeks are distracted. <laughs> oh, no. 
I died again. Really, if you have any practical questions Why about did I... Minecraft and about just how to get on the server and, uh, you know, this is a really good time to ask. You've got us here. Yes, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there a question? All of it was trying to add something earlier that got talked over. Oh, uh, that's Dak. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, don't, I don't know if they can hear me from Discord. I'm talking from Discord. Yes, we can hear you from Discord. We, oh. We're recording you in Zoom and yes, we're we streaming you on you. Facebook. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I was just going to, I wanted to encourage everybody to uh, keep an eye on Facebook's uh, event announcements so they can they find out when we have um, play and learn times. Uh, but also, if you would like to go on and try things on your uh, on your own uh, in game, you can always come on Discord. And uh, some of us are always, as, as long as we're awake, we're on Discord. So if you needed help, you can just ping any one of us and uh, we'll come and join you. That's it. And I hope you all have a lot of fun and a lot of learning. Thank you. Yep. And I'm maintaining a live events page, which I showed you earlier, and uh, also answering email uh, to Groups.io. Got a lot of people who have subscribed to that as well. So if you need help, there's plenty of help. And we have people all over the world, different time zones, and um, specific times to play together. Nazli uh, asks, uh, oh, she knows Olive Tree, so she probably would hook up with Olive Tree, whatever time that is. Uh, Bobby and I are in Penang, Malaysia, and so is, and, and Jane is in the same time zone. So right now for us, it's a little after 11, almost coming down to midnight. Um, we set up, uh, Bobby, Bobby Bear and I set up um, a time next Thursday. I just grabbed Thursday randomly uh, to start at uh, uh, end now, end at 11, it's 11 o'clock at night for us now, and start two hours earlier. But uh, we could do it your, uh, our morning, your evening as well. So if we know when you want to play, you just have to uh, let us know. Um, maybe there should be a channel for that. For, but, but, you know, also you could just write Oops IO if you join that. Or you could put post in Facebook. So it's just anywhere. We'll, we'll, someone will pick up your message and we'll, uh, and in Discord, you can find a, you, you can, uh, there's an events page. Maybe you could just, uh, an events channel, hash events, and you could um, leave a message there. Or is there a better suggestion for where to leave a message? I'm, I'm sure Jane is familiar with our article, Smolchitz and Stevens. <laughs> and have you read Jane's article? More recently. <laughs> <laughs> Please well, read my article. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's also we have a, a, a pedagogy and Minecraft, or we have a page for that, so you can uh, you can find a lot of articles and presentations we've done, and uh, videos we've made, conferences we've been to. Uh, you can find quite a lot to read about Minecraft that we've left. I, can probably find the link here. I'll just go ahead and search for that. It's in the sidebar. Here it is. Okay. I think I'm going to join everybody else in Minecraft and Discord. Okay, so thank you very much for coming to our Zoom meeting. Uh, next week, it's Rose. She's going to, uh, I think we're on a Monday. She's going to come, uh, I think on Sunday the 11th, I believe it is. So uh, Sunday the 17th, sorry. Sunday the 17th, she'll be hosting something in Discord in Minecraft at, 14, I guess, 1400 UTC. But anyway, you can go to the live events page and you can find out more about that. So um, you'll get, find all the links from uh, missionsformineCraft.pbworks.com. So they, all the links I have begin with that.
so anyway, well, thank you very much. Uh, anybody have any further questions? Welcome to speak to us. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you, Rose. Yeah, thank you, Bobby. thanks a lot, Aaron, for taking such good care of our server and being so uh, yes. flexible. Yes, love the server. Yeah, server guy. We live in it. So Aaron, the server guy. He lives yes. in it. <laughs> Never guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And thanks everybody else. Rose for putting together a Facebook program for us today. So that nice to see together you again. With Maha, yes. It was yes. really and fun. Thank, thanks, Maha, and thanks, Dax, for always yeah. being there yeah. here with us playing. Olive, olive tree is always available. Yeah. All yes, and olive for maintaining um, Discord. Mm -hmm. She's from yeah, Egypt. Thanks. She's in an Egyptian time zone. Uh, Rose is in Brazil. And uh, we have a few people over in the East Coast, USA, and uh, uh, so South America okay. time. Okay. And for Maddie and Emmanuel for messing things up. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're cute. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. Um, let's see. The kind, oh, of, the kind of well. fun when we have kids running in a server. I've had the experience. Yeah, you, you need to work out your server rules pretty well. <laughs> so you don't have, you know, problems later. I have yeah. been through it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, this has been EVO Minecraft MOOC. Uh, our first session, five weeks of an EVO Electronic Village Online course. This has been, this is uh, the 11th of January, 2021. And this is us signing off. It's a gradual yeah, process. Mm -hmm. I'll start, stop the stream first. Bye live stream. Bye bye Facebook. See you later. <laughs> Stopping the recording, uh, the recording on this computer. And wow. there it goes, going once, going twice, going Bye -bye. three times. Bye. 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 Bye.